the song thing is stuck in my head. You're fucked, man. Hey, it's Sue. And Megan. The, the Spine Breakers. And we're coming at you with our Halloween-a-thon T-E-R. Yes, and just in case you don't know, Halloween-a-thon is a read-a-thon we are hosting and co-hosting that takes place on April 29th through May 5th. Yes. Um, so check out our announcement video. We'll link it down below. Yeah, and check out our co-hosts' uh, TBR videos and announcement videos if you like. Um, they are Alex from Hey Little Thrifter, um, Carol Marie Reads, and Stephanie from That's What She Read. Yes. So we'll link their TBRs as well so you can see what they're reading and maybe get some other recommendations if you need them. And while we do this, we are going to be drinking this Dragons and Yum Yums in collaboration with the Flaming Lips. This is a, a tropical IPA from Dogfish Head. Mm -hmm. Obviously in collaboration with Flaming Lips. Right. Which I realized earlier that I don't know what they sing. I don't either. <laughs> I've know. always heard of them and I yeah. feel like I probably know something by them. Right. But, but I, I can't, can't name I can't it. Name it. Yeah. Yeah. But let's try their beer. Oh, we're gonna try their beer. There's so many Murphy hairs hanging off the bottom of this. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Murphy was joining us for the last video that we filmed, so um it's strange i don't i don't love it i don't i don't dislike it but i'm just like i feel like there's not much flavor and it's just kind of a little bit tart and that's it there's like an after folk i feel like this isn't a dragon fruit i feel like dragon fruit is a little funky and i don't know what the hell yum berry is or maybe it's passion fruit that's funky i think passion one of those funky. is a little funky i think and it what the fuck is black carrot juice it's okay. I don't I don't dislike it, but I don't really like it either. You don't like it at all. I don't care for it. So we are going to go through the challenges for this readathon and tell you what our picks are. Yep. Um Yeah, and we picked something for each challenge. However, you can combine as many challenges as we you want, and we will probably end up doing that because yeah. neither of us generally read six books in a week. No. So mm -mm. yeah. So the first challenge is to read a book that has been adapted into a movie and then watch that movie. So we're both planning to read Firestarter by Stephen King Firestarter. and watch the movie, which is from what, the 80s? From the 80s, I believe. I believe. It has it stars a little tiny Drew Barrymore. Yeah, little baby Drew Barrymore. <laughs> little baby. Yeah. And this is about a girl who uh, can light things on fire with her mind, I believe. What's that called? Pyrokinetic or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which sometimes, honestly, I wish I could do. Yeah. That'd be, that'd be cool. Yeah. So the next challenge is to read a book by an indie author. And for this, I'm going to read Fortune Box by Madeline Swan, which I'm borrowing from Sue. Sue has nothing but good things to say about this. Yeah, and I loved it. It sounded very intriguing to me. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm very excited about reading it. Yeah. And it's published by Eraserhead Press, which is an independent publisher and they publish like bizarro fiction so super stoked about it yeah and it could also count for the something that's not a typical novel yeah because it's stories yep i'm planning to read a deep horror that was very nearly awe by jr humantoshin and this is a self-published book of short stories um that the author actually sent me uh so thank you to the author but it's uh horror stories and based on the titles of the stories and the like blurbs and things i'm assuming that this is like horror comedy or at least has some co comedy infused in it which is my favorite mm -hmm. thing so i think it will be right up my alley and it said there was something in the front that really made me laugh when i was reading it but i can't remember what it was now you don't expect me to <laughs> All published stories contain this collection and remain the sole and exclusive copyright of J.R. Hamantosh, and even if he sometimes misspells his own name, including stories published in the collections, Cthulhu, 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 no pro new approaches to Lovecraft, i.e. don't expect any Cthulhu. Lovecraft's Disciples, P.S. Don't be alarmed, the introduction will explain that despite that title, we actually hate Lovecraft as a person, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like I'm gonna enjoy this. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. He seems pretty funny already. Yeah. <laughs> And it's self-published, like I said, so that's pretty 
pretty indie. Pretty sweet. And it, it also could count for not a typical novel. So next challenge is to read a book by a master of horror, which I am also going to read Fire. I'm going to count Firestarter for that as well. Yeah, and I just realized, oh, <laughs> I said the wrong thing for the first one, I think. <laughs> yeah, I was going to read Firestarter for this one. And then I was going to do The Midwich Cuckoos right. by John Wendham for the book to movie. So my bad. I didn't write down my TBR. I just thought, did that thing I do all the time where I'm like, I'll remember, I'll remember that and don't write it down. And I won't remember that ever. <laughs> um, but I was going to read The Midwich Cuckoos, which I have coming in the mail right now because I have no self-control and I made a book outlet purchase I'm about to the make other day. One. But the movie Village of the Damned is based on The Midwich Cuckoos by John Wyndham. So I plan to watch the original like 1960 version because I haven't seen that one. I have already seen the, I think it was, came out in 1995 version. It's been many years since I saw that one, but yeah. Anyway, so Firestarter's my master of horror pick. <laughs> Same. Uh, next is to read a book set in autumn. Um, and from the bet, correct me if I'm wrong, but like the best I could tell was that Pet Cemetery was set in autumn. If that is not the case, please let me know and I will choose something different. Um, I'll probably read, try to read Pet Cemetery somewhere toward the beginning of this readathon because if in the event I am not on my reading game, this would count for three challenges. Yeah. And I, like, this one was kind of hard to find yeah. a pick for because it's hard to tell when a book is set because they don't often say that in the synopsis. Right. Um, so I'm going to do The Halloween Tree by Ray Bradbury, <clears throat> which is the only one I could find that I knew for sure was set in autumn that I own already. Right. I forgot to bring it with me, though. I do have The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, which is definitely set in autumn as well, mm -hmm. I think. Um, but I have already read that, but it was when I was a kid, so I don't know. Hmm. I could do either of those. Neither one. Yeah. Um, next is to read something that is not a typical novel. And I was planning to read Monstrous, Volume 3, Haven by Marjorie Liu and Sana Takeda. Uh, this is also one of my owl mm -hmm. readathon picks, but since our readathon starts before the end of April, mm -hmm. I can save this till the end and count it for both. Yeah, I love so, it. So there we go. There we are. Um, I'm planning to read Skin of the Soul, which is edited by Lisa Tuttle, which is a book of short horror stories by women. And I'm just gonna, you may have seen our book haul with Amber from Amber on a Bridge. In case you didn't, just take a look at this magnificent cover. Yeah, it kind of looks like Kira transforming into a lady. It does, that creeps yeah. me out. Yeah, Kira, <laughs> please don't do that. She's, she's gonna like, do what? that. She's like, no, she's like I'm gonna that. do that later. She's yeah. a prankster. And then the sixth challenge is to read a book released within the last five years. So I have Into the Drowning Deep by Mira Grant, which I'm also counting for both owls and owls and creature feature. Creature feature. So if I read this between the 29th and the 30th, I can count it for all three readathons. You better read it fast. So it's a little lengthy, but Mira Grant's novels usually read pretty quickly. Those have to really buckle down. Yeah. And get at it. And I'm planning to read Final Girls by Riley Sager, which was published a couple years ago, I think. Um, 2017, yeah. Um, and this is kind of more of a thriller, I think, but it's about these girls who have all survived these like horror movie scale massacres, so they're like the final girls, and then they start dying. The main character, Quincy, I think, is like trying to find out what's going on before she dies. She don't, she don't <laughs> want that. Right. So yeah, that is our TBR. Yes. Um, let us know if you guys are going to participate in halloween a What do you plan to read? Yeah. Um, if you do a TBR, let us know about it. We'd love to watch it. Right. And um, there is a seventh challenge, by the way, but there it's is. to dress up in a half-assed costume. Kira looks like she just like stumbled <laughs> out of like Octavia. I mean Octavia, yeah. She kind of always looks like it's either like she looks like, like shambling so homeless person or she looks like magnificent magnificent regal, regal yeah yeah there's no in between no <laughs> Octavia 
ya, honey. So, um, I still, I, it, this beer does have like a little bit of a funky taste to it. I think it's the <laughs> passion fruit. So if you like passion fruit, then you'll like this, I guess. I don't know what yum berry is, but there's that. <laughs> um, but I just, I think it's okay. I still, I don't really dislike it, but I, I'm just definitely not a fave. Oof, I don't care for it. I'm trying. Like, I'm trying real hard, but I just don't care. It mostly it. doesn't have much flavor to me. It's just tart. It's like a funky taste and a tartness. Yeah. And that's it. But tart it's not, and funk. But it's not like a strong funk or a strong tartness. No. So it's just kind of meh. So I'm not that into it. I don't love it. <laughs> uh, so that's it. That's our TBR. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.